Technology is in really empowering people in terms of their daily lives, you know, to become something. Uh, anywhere from uh, education to, you know, things like finance and others. Uh, what is important is that people believe that, you know, this medium and especially uh, um, mobile devices are, uh, you know, uh, instruments that can help them achieve things, whether it's the education, whether it's the health, whether it's the finances and all of that. You know, the mobile device is one of the devices that can help you be included. We've seen it with, um, you know, applications that are about finance. Uh, I myself have done applications and projects that include actually applications that are around, for example, epidemiological uh, prevention, um, selling produces, organic produces, uh, you know, to uh, uh, far-fetched place places um, from the African region, uh, established community rural radio since uh, the late 90s and all of that. So for me, um, it's all about making sure that, yes, we're getting somewhere together with people. In terms of advocacy, um, I think we won't have too much of a hard time convincing people that, you know, uh, applications that are sitting on mobile devices are something that are key to their daily lives. Take M-Pesa, take, you know, uh, some of the medical um, applications that are now on smartphones, you know, that are helping people uh, again. Uh, when it's about, uh, you know, access and affordability, it's looking at some of the projects that we can either tie with or foster um, that are around, for example, low cost um, connectivity uh, and access to uh, remote areas. ITU um, is the uh, uh, the place where, you know, the Empower and Development Initiative is. ITU is the place where the people who are doing the pipes that are, you know, uh, uh, at the bottom of these networks, uh, that's where they are. So there is no reason where we cannot find projects, you know, about access and access that fosters, you know, affordability, you know, uh, uh, are here. So there is no reason why we cannot find them and foster uh, 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 their you know, the, the uptake out there. So that's, uh, I think, uh, something that we uh, can happen. And then the last uh, um, part about partnership, of course, ITU has, uh, uh, you know, works with a lot of organizations out there from, you know, uh, the uh, decision makers, the governments, to, you know, uh, the uh, people that are from business, uh, civil society, academia, you know, organizations like ICANN, um, where our people, you know, interact all the time with ITU. So, yeah, there are the, the potential for partnership, you know, in between the group of people who are all, you know, somewhat related to ITU or outside ITU is just tremendous. And, uh, you know, this is, I think, one of the reasons why we retained the three ideas, because it's really, um, I think they can be the three catalyst areas that help us progress for uh, the Empower and Development Initiative. Oh, in a lot of ways. Um, so access, affordability means a lot more people who will be, you know, on these mediums. Uh, today we talked about things like uh, um, uh, including a lot more people. What do we do about, you know, local languages, local content? We talked about how to foster that. We talked about uh, yeah, financial inclusion. We talked about people who, for example, in this world, there's about a billion plus people who have no identity. Um, and the, these are some of the, you know, the ways that um, uh, we can include everybody. The sustainable development goals with the 17 goals are all, if you just take the first one, which is, you know, um, and let's get, you know, let's see the end of poverty. 
the one thing that the one service that we can you know give to somebody who has no uh, birth certificate is to make them exist already in this world um, the moment they have one they can be recognized they can have services from government from private sector name it they can be somebody they can become somebody and they can be part of you know this uh, this future community that we're we're, we're fostering so um, the empowering uh, development initiative is one of I guess the um, the initiatives that can help achieve uh, sustainable development goals at all levels and um, I think we'll get there definitely <laughs>